Hello and welcome to match two of League 12. Uh, we are on the play and this is Breach Titan. Let's do it. We are up um, We are up one match. We faced Dredge. They took game one, but we rallied the troops and they mulliganed theirs away. And one little thought tease in game three does not a victory make. This hand has no ramp and uh, sliver of interaction which might prove useful I th this is a very close one because I like hands that can do things and that are kind of guaranteed to fall into primeval titan I think this hand definitely wants to dry soccer tribelders and explorers and uh, simian spirit guides and through the breach but every land Every just regular land or six drop or zero drop is just a slap in the face. This is so close. I don't want to go to six. Um, we'll try this. We will try it and try to thin the deck of lands in favor of ramp spells and uh, uh, free mana in the form of Simeon Spirit Guides. Bloodstained Mire to cover our tracks a little. Ooh, out of them too. Do they end here? <laughs> I guess it could still be burn. Um, all right, yeah, we've got one Cinder Glade in hand and only two left in the deck, so we'll do this. And and now we've got none left in the deck. Okie doke. I <sighs> don't want to draw any more lands, but now we've got no more fetch lands. And let's see if it's the mirror, Watery Grave. So probably a shadow. Target themselves. All right, so here comes a, probably a Delver. Yeah. Turn two, five, five, zombie fish. Inquisition. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> uh, I'll let them take Summoner's Pact. <laughs> They might take bolts, I guess, because it could kill their, uh, yeah, darn it. Oh, if this is thought seized, then I, I really don't, oh, Gurmag Angler. Yeah, okay, so that's, wow, I was expecting that. All right, maybe we draw another bolt. Uh, oh, that's a, just a slap in the face. Yeah, well, I don't know. I, uh, yeah, yeah, he, he gets in. Big fish. Big dead fish. Nope. I would not like to pay. And I don't... There's not very much more that we can do. Now we need a... Now we want to draw Simeon's Spirit Guide. Colgan's Command? I discard a card, deals two damage to any target. Well, Death Shadow is online. They opt. Team of Battle Rage, I figured that was coming. All right, we're down to two. Uh, literally only Simeon Spirit Guide, and then even then, it might not be enough. Um, Cause even if we do this, couldn't draw a ram spell. Not even one. All right, we just lose here. Even if we cast Summoner's Pact and get Sakura Tribelder, if they don't just have removal in their hand, um, we're taking the turn after that off, and you know, it's just a losing proposition. We're going to concede. Guess we shouldn't have kept that hand. At least now I know better. Uh, all right. Um... 
We bring in bailoffs, we bring in trackers, we bring in engineered explosives, we bring in Rurik Far, that might be a little much. Uh, we bring in Relic of Progenitus and Veil of Summer. We take out Angers of the Gods, we take out Bolts. And we take a uh, Woodfall Primus. We might want to leave Woodfall Primus in. Getting at their back row. I mean, last I checked, I, I, I don't know what their deck runs now, but the last time I checked, way before Hogak and all that, when Death Shadow was top dog in the format, they only ran seven mana sources. So, um, and I've definitely broken the back of a of a number of a non-zero number of Death Shadow players by r resolving through the Breach Woodfall Primus. Um, uh, and getting at their back row. I think we'll bring in a Beast Within. It's probably still a bit much to ask. We'll bring in a Beast Within, we'll take out a Woodfall Primus, and we'll take out a Through the Breach against Discard Magic. It's This is just such a bad card. Um, and we'll submit. We will definitely take the play. This hand is fine. Suspend, search for tomorrow. And, uh, well, we can probably say goodbye to Steve. I'm going to presume they've got Inquisition, uh, or they don't. Okie doke. And they've probably got Thought Scour or Opt. Uh, yeah, we'll do this instead of the Fetch Land. Maybe Spell Snare, that'd be spicy. In case they try to fish out an F6 or punish an F6 by pushing, uh, we're, going to, we're going to click through priority. Wow, they're being very careful with their life total. It's so weird. Thoughtseize, well, then there probably goes, I don't know, I guess these both are the same purpose, but this one is a little more useful in the long run. This one's more useful in the short run, and we're gonna have four mana anyways, so. I guess it doesn't, for the sake of Obstinate Bailoff, it doesn't really matter what they take. Yeah, they took the more the more long-term useful one, I guess. This finds a mountain. Well, Stubborn Denial doesn't play here, so I guess we're getting a basic mountain. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? This definitely finds a Cinder Glade and... Alright, we'll just try to get a Herding on them. And return to our starting life total. I don't know if they leave in push if they're expecting this card or any other little green creatures. This is so weird. They've got six cards in hand and they're not just chewing through their life. So we'll yield through this turn. Whatever they've got going on, they've got it. KCOM? No. Big Fish. Okie doke. Please, Primal Titan. Oh, this is so cool. All right, we lose to Pact of Negation exactly here, which I highly, highly doubt. We're gonna go for it. We'll show our hand. Well, they've seen the Simeon Spirit Guide, so they probably know this is the plan. Oh yeah, they have sixed. Oh yeah, we've got it. Well, at this point, it's just uh, information for them. Because we definitely win the game right here and now. They'll 
Well, they're not quite dead, but before blocks, but we 12 them before blocks. And now they're in a weird place with blocks, and yeah, we just get there. This will find two stomping grounds, so that if they do weirdly somehow live through this attack. Okay. <clears throat> All right, that was pretty clean. Uh, we drew Primeval Titan right when we needed to, and through the breach worked. Um, I don't think anything changes play or draw dependent. I think... Hmm. Yeah, I think we leave it like this. I think Rurik Thar is kind of the, the weak link of the deck. I can't really... F Maybe I do want that fourth through the breach. But I mean, they're going to be coming for our combo pieces with their discard magic. All right, I'm going to just play this and see if I would have rather this rubber card been through the breach. We'll just see what that turns into. They will take the play, I presume. Oh, this is such a cool hand. I think Relic of Progenitus probably gets snatched turn one, but we'll keep it. And they keep theirs. So that's definitely a discard spell. And I think I know the target. Yeah. Unless you want to take <laughs> Summoner's Pack, go for be my guest. <laughs> or explore. Man, that'd be that'd be something. Whoa. That's so weird. Why would they do that? Maybe they've got a braid. Trying to stop our ramp. I don't know that that's the place they want to go. Uh, we will do this immediately. So, I mean, that their cards are just that much harder to cast. That's so weird. I thought for sure they would get this. This directly attacks their zombie fish. And we'll yield if you've got a thought siege or something else going on. I guess soccer tribe elders. The target. Um, oh man, they still got there. Ah, oh. All right, so this would have been through the breach. So now I'm happy that it's Rorikthar instead of literally anything else. Um, well, they don't have zombie fish or else they would have had to do it. Um, I think we got to get our ramp spells up. Yeah, as much as I hate kind of tapping out for uh, for this, we need to get our ramp spells up so that these cards matter in the in the end. And just hope they don't draw a zombie fish for one more turn. Ashiok Dream Render. That's super duper awkward. <laughs> All right. Well, that's why they kept then. It was a weird hand which a, with a bunch of nonsense going on, but uh, uh, we fold so hard to that card, man. Um, We're gonna do this now. Okay, at least we've got Cinderglade now. Um, this is gonna be hard. Um, this is gonna be very hard. We're gonna yield through this turn. We can play Obstinate Bailoff. Oh, it's a fetch land, which is super unfortunate. I got four cards in hand. They've probably got some counter magic. 
If it's disdainful stroke, we're gonna try this. Okay, so now they've got to have removal to try and deal with this. Their life total is getting a bit low. Oh, this is so, this is like scary close now. Ashiok just is such a leveler. What are we losing here? We're, we're, they're chewing through our cards. We lost a Valor Cut and some other less important stuff. They've probably got Snapcaster Mage. That would make this make the most sense. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. We'll let them bolt this to death, I suppose. And during main two, I think we just gotta try and get this the hell down. And if they can't counter this with exactly disdainful stroke, Okay, so now they're in real trouble. This is pretty much a hard lock. I like this. <laughs> I am okay with this. Our mountains are online. Our fetch lands aren't. But uh, now they, they kind of can't cast spells. Like, I kind of don't care what happens here anymore. Yeah, that's it. That's it. There's no more... <laughs> no more, no more non-creature spells for you. <laughs> wow. I'm really glad this wasn't through the breach. <laughs> that is brutal. <laughs> oh, Rory Thara, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. That was very cool. Awesome. <laughs> I was wondering if that would make a make a difference, and uh, it totally did in the best possible way. All right, uh, Rory Thara beats Ashiok. Good to know. We needed that. See you in the next one.